Hi, I'm Elizabeth Ann Atkins, author of God's Answer is No, Lessons from a Spiritual Life. I wrote this book to share my life story, which describes my spiritual awakening, and very importantly, with the intention of showing you how you can have a spiritual awakening, what you can do to enhance and accelerate it so that you can recognize and utilize the God power within yourself so that you can become your best and live your best life and make the most powerful contributions to your family and the world. One of the major practices that I do on a daily basis that enhance my connectivity to the divine is clearing my chakras. Years ago, when I first heard the term, I didn't know what a chakra was, but I soon learned that chakras are non-physical energy centers in our bodies. They're sort of like these, these orbs that go along our spine from our tailbone to the top of our head. Those are the seven main chakras, and there are smaller ones throughout your body. These, you can think of them as orbs of light, And each has a color corresponding to the name of the chakra that it represents certain characteristics. So just as your heart is a physical organ and its role in your body is to pump blood to keep you alive, your root chakra, for example, is bright red. It's at your tailbone and its function, its overseeing function of energy is all about your survival, your physical and sexual health. Whereas your crown chakra is lavender and it's at the top of your head and it's the portal to your connection to the divine so you can communicate with the spirit world and also strengthen your intuition which you may perceive as the voice of the divine speaking inside of you. So each morning, just like you may take a shower to rid your body of the dirt and bacteria and stuff that's accumulated sweat, clearing your chakras is like spiritual hygiene because it clears the negative energy that accumulates around us, in us, through us in a day, in a lifetime, and over the course of many lifetimes for your soul. So your soul may literally be carrying imprints from past life traumas that you carry with you today as fears, bad habits, phobias, concerns, worries, blocks. And so clearing your chakras, among many other practices that you can do, enables you to clear the negative energy from your being on a daily basis. It's very relaxing. And I just absolutely feel so good after I've cleared my chakras. So right now, I'm going to guide you through the process of cleansing and clearing your chakras. By the way, the word chakra is an ancient Sanskrit word meaning vortex of light. So you can imagine these these sort of vortexes along your spine of these bright colors that correspond with the rainbow. You can get very detailed about each chakra, what to eat to enhance it, um, what element corresponds with it, um, what colors to wear to help enhance it, and many other things you can go along with it. There's, There's crystals that can help you open each chakra to maximize its power. Um, But right now I'm going to be real basic and show you what one of my meditation teachers, Lori Lipton of Sacred Balance Academy in Bloomfield Hills, taught me years ago about how to cleanse and clear my chakras. So we're going to begin by calling in the light from heaven, calling in this divine, pure white light that shoots down from heaven in a beam of brilliant, pure, white energy light that you may perceive as sort of crystalline and sparkling, like diamonds are 
diamond dust is dancing through the air and it's just this beam that's just brilliant and it's coming down and the top of your head your crown chakra is opening like a lotus flower it's just opening and blooming and it, through the center of that this beautiful beam of light from the divine shoots down through the top of your head and begins to saturate every cell in your being you may imagine when you're outside and sometimes you see those big beams of light shooting through the clouds and they just look so majestic and beautiful. Imagine that. Imagine one of those beams shooting into the top of your head. It's white, it's golden, and it's warming you. And it's saturating every cell starting with your head. And it's seeping down into your throat. And you can feel a soothing sensation as this beautiful, pure, cleansing, energizing light goes through your chest and your abdomen, then your arms all the way down to your fingertips. So you feel like this light is just glowing from within you. It feels beautiful. And then you can imagine this beautiful light from heaven shooting down your legs. And if your feet are touching the floor, you can imagine the light is shooting down past your feet into the ground to ground you to Mother Earth. Then imagine that a, a cord is dropping from your root chakra or your tailbone, and it's dropping all the way to the center of Mother Earth. And it's sort of hooking there. So you're grounded there, you're connected. And then imagine this light shooting back up from the core of Mother Earth, from the molten rock and the water and the mud and the, the grass and the trees. It's shooting back up through this beam, coming back into your body, connecting you to Mother Earth, and then rising back up through your body and shooting back up to heaven. So your body is literally the connecting point between heaven and earth. You're grounded in the solidness of Mother Earth, and yet you're free to float up into the divine to receive the blessing of cleansing and clearing your energy so that you can proceed with your day feeling light, peaceful, productive, and joyous. So imagine that this beautiful light inside of you is connecting at the point between your heart and your solar plexus. That's like at the center of your chest. And that's the connecting point. Your heart represents love and your solar plexus represents, when I get to that chakra, your noble, empowered... <laughs> Your divine right to noble, empowered action in the world. So in cleansing and clearing the chakras and calling in this divine, powerful light from heaven, what you're doing is fueling these chakras so that you can proceed with action that reflects love. And that's what I love about this whole process. The connecting point is action and love. And there's no greater thing you can do in life than to proceed from that space. So as you imagine this beautiful light inside your body glowing, I like to imagine that it's repairing all of my DNA. It's permeating every cell in my body to make it have maximum health. And I like to say the mantra, Every spectacular cell in my body is functioning in perfect health and harmony. Every spectacular cell in my body is functioning in perfect health and harmony. And this light is almost like burning away any toxicity, any illness, anything that isn't right in our bodies so that we feel light and experiencing optimum health and so imagine that occurring this beautiful light permeating your bones your organs flowing along your veins and arteries 
so that your bloodstream is purified, swirling in your mind so that it's clearing away any negative thoughts, so that you feel relaxed, peaceful and confident, faithful, knowing that God is always taking care of us and protecting us. Next, imagine that this beautiful light is so powerful it can't be contained in our physical bodies. So it expands out of our skin. It expands out of our skin and starts to glow, glow around us. This beautiful light is expanding from within us and glowing around us. You know how some people have this wonderful, happy aura about them that can protect and shield you as well? Well, imagine this light expanding all around you and filling your whole room. Then imagine this light expanding to fill the building that you're in, expanding across your neighborhood, your town, your city, expanding across your state or the region where you live. Then expanding this beautiful white light is just flowing like a rolling cloud of pure white light across the country and around the entire world. So that now this beautiful light that's connecting heaven and earth is expanding around the entire globe. And here I like to say prayers that within this beautiful light from heaven, miracles are happening to help people in need. I like to imagine from this beautiful white light, anyone who was thinking about doing something bad to hurt others or who's actually doing that is having a change of heart so that wars can stop and peace can prevail. Conflict ends and people see eye to eye, heart to heart, and decide to do what's best for the people and the planet. In addition, I like to imagine any particular news conflict that I've read about recently. For example, the starving children in Yemen and women being assaulted in Africa. I like to envision that this pure white light is descending upon, swirling around these areas so that food and resources and peace are delivered and protection and safety are delivered to individuals who are in need, that wars can stop, that conflicts can end, that peace can prevail, so that people, men, women, children, are safe and treating each other with kindness and love and protection. I like to imagine that all of the infractions against the earth can stop pollution, the climate change that's causing major weather pattern changes and water melt, melting from the glaciers. I like to imagine that those things that are being done to damage the earth can stop and the damage can be reversed and repaired. So in this course of meditation and clearing the chakras and imagining this beautiful pure white light from heaven all around the earth, imagine, pray for, Miraculous changes that cause peace, prosperity, and protection of Mother Earth. Now imagine that this light is swirling back toward you and that it's swirling around your loved ones. I want you to imagine the people in your life who bring you the greatest joy and imagine this beautiful light is just circling around them in this sort of beam of bright, shiny, sparkly light that's protecting them, that's blessing them throughout the day with protection, love, joy, success in everything that they do. Imagine, you can say their names out loud, imagine that this beautiful light is swirling around them and you can say whatever extra prayers that person might be needing that day if they're taking a test or applying for a job or healing from an illness or simply going about their day. Then I like to extend this to everybody in my realm that I want to share prayers with. So I literally go through and name 
my relatives, my clients, my friends and their families, um, people whom I encounter, um, my neighbors, anybody who comes to mind, I say a prayer for them at that time. And it's really beautiful and it really shares positive, powerful energy with, with individuals. And it makes you feel better and it makes them feel better. And the power of prayer is real. It works. So once I've completed that step of casting this beautiful heavenly light upon my loved ones, my colleagues, my clients, and anyone who reads my books, then it's time to cleanse and clear our chakras. And what I do is I like to sit on my yoga mat. You can sit in any comfortable place. And I like to sit with my legs crossed and my fingertips, my thumb tip and my forefinger tip touching. And I put my wrist on my knees. I'm sitting with my spine straight and I close my eyes. I put the tip of my tongue at, when I'm not talking. <laughs> Um, between my teeth and that little hump at the roof of your mouth, this does something to help your body engage in this process. And then I take some deep breaths. And then I start at my root chakra. I envision a glowing red ball of light at my tailbone and then I'm going to say a prayer to cleanse and clear it and I'm also going to make a sound. Clearing your chakras can be done silently but I prefer to use the sound chants. It's one syllable but you can draw it out. You may be familiar with OM but you, there's a, a corresponding sound chant that goes along with each chakra and it's like taking a sound bath that clears away negative energy and it feels really good while you're doing it. Don't do it around people that might think you're weird or you feel embarrassed about because it might feel weird if you're doing this for the first time. <laughs> so um, just do it in a private place. You could do it in your car, like parked. Um, and that's really cool because the sound reverberates back at you and that's like extra loud. So I'm going to start now. I'm envisioning this beautiful red glowing ball of light, this vortex of energy at my tailbone. God, please cleanse and clear my root chakra, my divine right to prosper financially and thrive in physical and sexual health. The sound that goes along with this LAM, L-A-M. Next is the sacral chakra. It's orange and it's just a few fingers, like if you hold your fingers together, it's a few fingers below your belly button. Your sacral chakra is inside of you and it's this beautiful glowing orange light. And as I envision that, I also remember and envision my, my root chakra that's now glowing extra big and bright and clear because I just cleared it. So with each additional chakra that I clear, I imagine the other ones below it um, glowing even brighter. God, please cleanse and clear my sacral chakra, my divine right to creativity, emotional balance, and the pure blissful pleasure of the sensual world. The sound is VAM, V-A-M. VAM. 
Now I envision my orange sacral chakra glowing brilliantly, opening, expanding above my red root chakra. So now there are these tremendous, gold, beautiful orbs of light, red and orange. And above them, just above my belly button, between the sternum and the belly button, is your solar plexus chakra. It's yellow like the sun. So if it helps to imagine the sun glowing within you, do that. God, please cleanse and clear my solar plexus chakra, my divine right to noble, empowered action in the world. The sound is Ram, R-A-M. Now I see this beautiful orb of red, above it orange, above it yellow, glowing so brightly within me. Above that is the heart chakra. It's both emerald green and pink. Pink obviously symbolizes love. And emerald green symbolizes healing. God's healing angel, Archangel Raphael, works in these beautiful beams, this dimension that's emerald green. And so in our heart, we have the power, the energy of love, of course, and healing. So when we're clearing this chakra, you can imagine both pink and emerald green. And sometimes the energy there is so strong, it sort of bursts out and you almost feel like a flower is blossoming in, in your chest. You can like feel it open. You can feel that with all your chakras, but with the heart especially, you can just feel it open and it's the most beautiful feeling. You can also see sort of colorful light beams shooting out. Like I often see pink light beams shooting out from my heart and emerald green ones too. It's really amazing. So... God, please cleanse and clear my heart chakra, my divine right to give and receive unconditional love and to experience healing in every level. The sound here is YAM, Y-A-M. Can you feel the beautiful energy glowing in your chest, expanding this love and healing energy glowing above the red, orange, yellow? Now there's green and pink. Next is the throat chakra. The throat chakra is turquoise blue. It's in your throat. God, please cleanse and clear my throat chakra, my divine right to speak and hear the highest truth. The sound is HAM, H-A-M. Do you see this turquoise glow around your throat that enables you to speak your truth? A lot of times speaking up is a challenge. Speaking your truth is very important to be your authentic self and live your best life. So now you see your ruby red 
root chakra, your sac your orange sacral chakra, your yellow solar plexus chakra, your pink and green heart chakra, and now your turquoise blue throat chakra expanding in this amazing light around your throat and your body. Next is your third eye chakra. Your third eye enables you to activate your intuition. And a lot of times people say, I want to open my third eye. Well, this chant enables you to do so. God, please cleanse and clear my third eye chakra, my divine right to see beyond the physical world. The sound is sham, S-H-A-M. Now you can see red, orange, yellow, green and pink, blue, and deep purple. Your third eye chakra is deep purple and it's glowing in your head. It's enabling you to activate your intuition at its maximum capacity. Next is your crown chakra, which is lavender. Your crown chakra connects you to the divine and it's at the top of your head. God, please cleanse and clear my crown chakra, my divine right to a full awakening, self-realization, and unity with source and all life. The sound is OM, O-M. Now envision all of your chakras, red, orange, yellow, pink, green, blue, purple, lavender, all glowing, all glowing from the, your tailbone up to the top of your head and your light body is just cleansed, clear, light, joyous, peaceful, shielded to all that is good. Sit with that peace and knowing that you're connected to the divine. The beautiful heavenly light and energy is flowing through you, rejuvenating you on a soul level. You feel amazing, grateful. Now that you've cleared your chakras, this is also an excellent time to meditate because you have become peaceful, your mind is clear, you're in this God space, this God energy where it's easiest to connect to divine guidance so you can sit and ask a question, connect with your soul, discover your purpose, just learn guidance on how to proceed with your day, how to make a decision. In addition, your higher self chakra is above your head. It's gold. A lot of times in meditation, when you connect with your soul and you get a visual of it, you'll see that it's golden. 
in my meditations. God and my spirit guides have shown me my spirit. It's like gold sparks. It's like this geyser of golden energy that's pure God energy. It's source and we all have it within us. And the more you have a spiritual practice and learn the types of things in my book, God's Answer is No Lessons from a Spiritual Life that I'm teaching, the more you can open yourself up to this brilliant, peaceful, empowering space. It's already within you. You just have to know how to open it, how to activate it, how to live in it all day, all night for the rest of your life. It will transform you from within and enable you to create a life that's your life purpose, your divine mission, so that you feel fulfilled, prosperous, influential, and joyous, and most importantly, peaceful. Thank you for joining me today, Elizabeth Ann Atkins, author of God's Answer is No, Lessons from a Spiritual Life. My goal is to share my story and teach you how to enhance and accelerate your spiritual awakening so you can live your most glorious life and have the most positive influence on yourself, your family, humanity, and Mother Earth. Thank you so much.